Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in Spin Tires Mud Runner on a brand new map called Oregon Creek. Now, this map is interesting because it's a design from the ground up as a crawling map. It is all crawling, like that is, you want to do crawling, you supposedly bring your vehicles here. So, without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get into it, but the funny thing is we started at this massive, like, uh, looks like a rip-off BP gas station and a team of crawlers. We've got a FJ-40, we've got a flat fender, we've got a YJ, and we've got a Bronco. Now, what we're going to probably do is, since all of these are recallable except for the Bronco, we're probably going to set off in the FJ first, and then from... From what we find in the FJ, we'll figure out how to how to proceed. Now, the cool thing about about this is that all of the gas pumps are actually active. Like, they all work. The only bad part about it is... The only bad part about it is the fact that in order to use the... Like, in order to drive under them... Well, when you do drive under them, the camera freaks out and goes all wonky because it's Mud Runner and that's just what happens. So, let's see. Let's look at our map. And see where we're going to be going. So, oh, it looks like literally, so it just starts and then it continues on from, like, so you basically, you turn left here and you follow the map. Well, wait a minute, though. Where does it connect up to that trail looking area? I'm trying to figure that out now because it's just kind of weird. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to run the map backwards. So I guess we'll go ahead and start right here. We're going to stick in the low three. See how this thing does. Right off the bat, lots of rocks to deal with. But I mean, it, that is what this map's all about and what it's for. So I'm definitely not going to definitely not going to complain about that. I've actually been wanting a proper crawling map for a long time. Like one that was just like big rock after big rock after big rock we're already kind of stuck that line we took was a little iffy i figured the the vehicle would kind of slide down in a more uh like slightly different position but it didn't seem like didn't seem like that was the case come on let's go let's go let's go oh god work our way up and over not bad this thing has amazing, amazing ground clearance with this short wheelbase and all like this, these massive tires. It just does such a good job of walking over these rocks. I mean, you can still high center this rig, but it's not as easy to high center as a lot of the other rigs that you may be used to. Now, ooh, I think I'm going to back that up and then go at it from a different angle. Wow, trying to get it to bounce up on like bounce up over the obstacle didn't really work. That works, though. Whoa! I don't know how it sets us up, though. Where does this go? Does it just stop here? It seems like it does. Yeah, it seems like it just stops here. But there's, like, there's stuff over here. Oh, wait, this... That's a river, not a road. Never mind. Okay, so that has literally no bearing on where we're going. So then how do we... Like, it's so tricky because everything is all like... We're, we've deviated from the map at this point. I mean, like, ow! It feels like everything is unmarked. It feels like nothing here is marked. And that gives you... I mean, that gives you a lot of, a, you know, a pretty good challenge because you have to figure out what way is actually the way to go. But, at the same time, it can be mildly frustrating if you're new to the map and you have no idea where to go. Let's back up, and then we'll go forward and try to get... God, I'm trying to get to the right, but that doesn't look like that's going to happen here. We'll go back. Oh, jeez. Come on, come on, come on, come on. God, it's not wanting to. Come on. Oh, jeez. You know, if I could get up this hill, that would be lovely. If I could get up this hill without, frankly, messing this thing up and getting it completely stuck. There we go. Just wait a little bit longer on the steering, and we should be able to get up just fine. Now, the other big thing that's kind of 
it's almost it's almost bugging me about this map is that there's so many like so many like rock sections and stuff like that but i don't know how to get like the map i don't know how to get anywhere yet so you have to actually learn what what it, like where everything is on this map before you can set out to to look for stuff which this, it, on one hand is kind of kind of good because then it forces you to explore but on the other hand you're kind of like well why i need to know where stuff is God, we're already in some... This is definitely one of the hardest crawling maps I think I've ever come across. It's very difficult, and they really, like, they really make it known, and they're not apologetic about the fact that this is a difficult map. A very difficult map. Come on, we might need... We might need to winch here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, don't tell me you're done. Don't tell me you're done like that, Land Cruiser. No, no, no. Get a little bit of a pull. Just a little bit. There we go. That that should do it. Should do it, and then we just walk through nice and easy. Nice and easy. There we go. This is already looking like it's going to be tricky. I'm looking up ahead, and I'm like... Like, my, <laughs> the look on my face just, like, pretty much describes how you feel when you're heading for these hills. And, like, it's just, it's like you're driving through a, a forest that's grown up around a, an old rock quarry or something. It's really fun, though. It's properly fun and definitely, definitely challenging. I mean, I love the challenging aspect of this map because I would say it's probably the most challenging crawling map that I've seen so far uh, in Mudrunner. It's definitely got more of a more of like a feel of a map that was created for the purpose of being difficult than any of the other crawler maps I've seen so far like there's nothing wrong with you know crawler maps that are like usable for most vehicles but this one feels like it was made to be used by like it was it was made to challenge you it was made to be difficult it was made to be hard and it definitely accomplishes that goal Come on. Oh, it just... Mm, see? If you take the wrong line, you just slide, like, just kind of slither, slither off the side of a rock. Technically, vehicles don't slither, but you guys get the gist of what I'm talking about. God, this thing is just... I mean, it is given this... It is given this rig a little bit of a run for its money. Come on! I wonder if, wonder if we can kind of like bump it in high. Get some momentum and go. We're in high now. We bumped it and it kind of worked a little bit, but not for. Oh god. Whoa. Th what the? Holy crap! What the heck just happened? Okay, that was weird. I have no idea what the heck just happened. Although what I do know is the fact that that Mad Max truck may have mildly messed with a few things because I have never had that happen before. All right, so let's we're going to grab a different vehicle because the let's grab the YJ crawler. And actually no, you know what? I feel like I feel like I'm going to recall it. Let's recall it right here. And then we'll see what it can do. Oh, of course, something's blocked. I, I was concerned about that. Uh, let's grab the YJ crawler and just drive it out there. Now, the interesting thing about this map is since since the start is actually really close to where we are, we can kind of... I wouldn't say... I wouldn't call it cheating, but I would call it... We can slightly shortcut the map. And, um, I mean, it's kind of it's kind of good in some respects because you can kind of meet up with where your other vehicles are very easily. But on, on the other hand... Like, I can see how people would be like, what's the point of, like, you know, what's the point of that, but... Let's wind our way up through here. Check that map again. Keep an eye on where we are, just so we don't go past it for no reason. This is a little bit longer wheelbase, though, than that FJ-40. It's actually quite a bit longer wheelbase than the FJ-40, so that could help it or hurt it, depending on what obstacles we have to go over. 
Let's check that map again. All right, we should be able to go ahead and cut straight through here. This thing just walks, dude. Carefully go over this edge real quick. And then, all right, there's the FJ. So this thing should, let's get this thing in position first. And we'll do that by pulling cable right there. Oh, God. Pull cable right there and we'll stabilize it a little. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. And we will get the winch disc. Oh, my God. Disconnected. And then now all we have to do is I'm actually going to switch to the FJ-40 and I'm going to back it up because it's going to be directly in the way where it is right now. That's about as far as I'm backing it up. All right, now let's go. Come on, YJ. This line's a little off. I was hoping it would be able to go a little bit back to the right, but didn't think, didn't look like it was going to manage that. That's not... Mm, I don't know about that angle. That angle is like... That angle is nasty. Come on, find yourself a line that works. There we go. Starting to use that suspension flex to our advantage, but I still don't know if it's enough. Keeping in low two, just kind of working our way around. Back up and then go forward again. Oh. Yes. 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 Oh, God, yes. Come on. Oh, that's the farthest we've gotten so far. Okay, I don't know what the heck is going on with those. It's like, it's weird. It's like, I guess, anytime, any kind of smoke, ever since I installed that Mad Max truck in the game, um, any kind of smoke has been very buggy and very glitchy. Maybe if we reduce the speed of the wheels just a little... Yes! There we go! Full-on crawling mode now. Come on. God, I don't know if it's getting any further than that without a winch. A winch to right there. Because I want to see what's, like, what's around this map. It's like, how the heck are you supposed to, I guess, let it roll back just a little and put it back in gear, put it back in gear and slowly roll up the hill. Stay left though, because if, well, uh, it's kind of hard to stay left when you're not like, when you're not really able to position the Jeep properly. This is not the recommended line. I'm going to go ahead and get that out of the way right now. This is not the recommended line. Although this is kind of one of those take whatever line you want maps. Wow, that was... I did not think we were going to be able to get it started back up. I thought it was going to get stuck there and just, like, stay. Easy, come on, come on, easy, easy. Hmm, yeah, not e <laughs> not easy. God, it really doesn't want to do it. Maybe a little bit more wheel speed. Grab for some grip. It's scrambling for grip up these rocks. There we go. I mean, it wanted it. It just took a little bit for it to go for it, but it wanted it. Now, this seems like it's just, just rocks everywhere. Let's see if we can get out to a little bit more of a flat... Kind of a playing field. Oh, wait. Nope. Never mind. More crawling. God, if you... Wait a minute. Whoa! So that is like literally a... It's literally a river that runs all the way through the map. And in some areas, there's crawling like in the water. That's insane. I mean, it's like... It's weird because it's a simple idea, but not a lot of people do it. Like, nobody's done that. 
carry on ahead and see if there's... This is... Oh, hello, fuel station! Happy to find that. Although, I mean, I, don't, I know I don't need it for this, but it kind of means that there's going to be a little bit more of an open area for me to recall something. So I want to bring another vehicle out here and keep exploring. Alright, so what should we... Oh, God. Ooh, this thing... This thing's going to be fun, but it's not a built crawler. This is more of like... This is more just like a little CJ with a... Uh, with a mild lift. So I don't see it being... I don't see it going very far on this map, but for what it will do, I see it being fun. Alright, little guy. Let's see what you can do. Started off in low two. It's already scraping its bumper and its frame. But I feel like it might surprise us. Come on, what are you going to do? Come on, show me what you got! Come on! Oh, jeez. Dude, if you could get, if you could get, like, centered up, that would be, that would be just, that would be awesome. That'd be on point. Be super on point if you can. God, scraping the under, under tray, like, not even the under tray, getting stuck on the axles. Oh, it's moving, though. I think what I love about this map more than anything is that it's just endless rock crawling everywhere. And there's even, like, areas that apply to, like, maybe less built vehicles, like this little guy. And, I mean, this thing's having a blast. It's definitely, you know, pushing its limits, but it's, I don't see it doing what the FJ and the, um, and the YJ were doing earlier. But stuff like this, like riverbed, like rocky riverbed crawling, just so much fun. And you can really get into, like, it's addicting to see what these vehicles can actually do. Like, a map like this allows you to push those boundaries. There goes the crazy weird object thing again. I'm going to fix that because I don't know. Oh, God. Like, I don't know why it's doing that. I'm going to figure it out and I'm going to fix it. I just, it doesn't really make sense to me as to why it's doing it. So, that will be fixed. And I'm first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Mad Max truck out and see if that fixes it. But... It's like anything that involves smoke, um, and it goes nuts. Need low one, give it a little bit of extra grip. There we go! That was a little bit of an angle. Oh, here comes the... Ah, oh, we're having more issues with this thing than we did with any of the others. That's weird. Yeah, that's a lot of issues with that. Let me see if... Oh, you know what? You know what? The the FJ40 crawler. I want to finish off by seeing if there's any... Oh, boy. Bro, come on. I want to finish off if, if, if by seeing if there's any way we can possibly get this thing up that hill that we climbed in the YJ. Because I think we can. I think there's got to be a way that we just didn't find before. Come on, there it is! We got the shift! Oh, dude. Dropped right back into where it was before. Main thing is if we can get that shift and then keep it pointed in the right direction. That's the big deal. That's the big thing. Let's get that shift! No, we got the... I mean, we had that shift, but... Again, it's just such a... It, like, it just falls to the left. It falls to the left, like, every time. Get some wheel speed. Oh, that was as fast as I could shift it, and it still kind of freaked out a little bit. I'm going to go this way. Or I should say, I'm going to go this way with the assistance of a winch. Yeah, because I don't think this thing's getting up that regardless. Now, let's see if you can... Oh, boy. I'm going to go to the right, and then... Oh! Drop down. Oh, no! No! God, it ended up on its roof. Dude, what? Oh, man. I want to say that, like, this thing could make it a lot farther, but it's just, it's not as, maybe, as quite as capable as the YJ is. It's the YJ's got a little bit more flex, got a little bit bigger tire. This is not quite as capable, but it's still very, very capable, and I loved this map. I think it was really, really fun. Um, basically, if you want this map, again, I'm 
I don't really feel super confident linking it in the description in the description below because if you don't know what you're doing, then you could if you don't know what you're doing when you download it, you could find yourself uh, with some sketchy things on your PC. But if you know how to get around that stuff, then be careful. And I would say, like, just remember, that's all up to that's all up to you. It's like if you if you're careful and you um, you're cautious about you know what you actually click, then you should be able to find this map and download it just fine. But I again, like I said, I don't feel super confident linking it because I don't want people to go and you know click the link and then just go to the site and then maybe click something they shouldn't click, and then they've got, like, stuff that they don't want on their computer. So, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you all next time. Talk to you guys later.